Okay, good afternoon everyone. I'm Jason Lau from Tsinghua University. I'm very glad to be here to present our work investigating the uh, reliability of click models. This is a joint work with Zhu Mingchu, Yi Chun Liang, Yun Zhang, and Xiao Fengna. Okay, first let's see the background. We know that user clicks carry implicit relevance feedback that is valuable for improving the ranking performance of search engines. However, the click signal is noisy and often affected by different kinds of behavioral biases, making it systematically different from true relevance. To solve this problem, a variety of click models have been proposed to uh, model the biases in click signals. By training the click models on query logs, we can get more accurate uh, relevance estimation from those noisy and biased click user clicks. And the relevance estimation can then be used uh, as ranking features for learning to rank models or weak supervisions to train the data hunger neural ranking models. So, in order to improve the performance uh, of these downstream tasks, we need to ensure that uh, the relevance estimation itself uh, is accurate. Generally speaking, uh, the accuracy of uh, estimation depends on two factors. First is trueness, and second is precision. Trueness is the estimate of the systematical bias, and the precision is the estimate of the random error. Previous study on click models focused on reducing the systematic bias and improving the trueness of relevance estimation by experimenting with different kinds of user behavior assumptions. However, few studies have investigated the precision and reliability uh, of the relevance estimation given by the click models. So in this study, we focus on investigating the precision and reliability of the relevance estimation given by the click models. Uh, we try to address the following question. First, how precise is the relevance estimation of a query dog compare given by a click model? And second, how many impressions are needed for obtaining a re reliable relevance estimation of a single query dog compare? And third, how reliable is the estimation of, of the relative order of two documents in terms of their relevance? And in order to capture the uncertainty uh, in relevance estimation, we use a Bayesian approach in this study. We, ab we adopted the Bayesian browsing model BBM as our click model. This model is essentially a Bayesian version of the user browsing model UBM as they share uh, the same assumptions on user behavior. In this model, we use uh, a binary variable C to denote whether a result is clicked by the user and another binary variable E to denote whether the result is examined by the user. Note that C is an observable uh, variable and E is a latent variable. The model assumes that whether a result uh, uh, is examined depends on its ranking position R and its distance to the last click document D. We use the examination parameter gamma to model this probability that a uh, result is examined by the user. And it also assumes that a relevant document will be clicked if it is examined by the user. We use the relevance parameters alpha to model this probability that a result is clicked conditioned, conditioned on that it is being examined. Then the joint distribution of the examination and click can be represented in these formulas. And because we want to capture the uncertainty in relevance estimation, so instead of using point estimators, such as the uh, maximum likelihood estimator or the ENL reason, uh, to get a point estimate of the relevance parameter alpha, in this study we try to infer the posterior distribution of alpha. Uh, in this study we use the mean field variational methods and approximate the posterior distribution of each alpha is a beta distribution with two parameters. Uh, here are the formulas uh, we use to update the variational parameters, and I will skip them in this talk. And after training the model uh, with the variational inference method, we can get the parameters of the beta distribution. Then we can measure the point-wise precision by computing the variance of alpha, and we can uh, compute the variance of alpha with this formula. And we can 
also measure the reliability of the pairwise relevance by computing the probability that a result U is more relevant than another, another result V. If this probability is around 0.5, then we are not sure about whether uh, which result is more relevant. And if the probability is near 1, we know that uh, the pairwise relevance estimation is very reliable. And to test whether the proposed method uh, can capture the uncertainty of relevance estimation given by the model, we first train the proposed model on real query logs and exam examine how uh, the variance of relevance estimation changes uh, with the number of impressions and the average ranking positions. And from this figure, we can see that the variance increases with the average ranking position and decreases with the frequency of the query, which indicates that the model can capture the uncertainty in relevance estimation. We also know that uh, these results are con consistent with our intuition that the query document pair that are more likely to be examined by users has a more uh, precise and reliable relevance estimation. Uh, we are also interested in uh, whether the ranking performance uh, affects uh, the reliability of relevance estimation or not. So we further conduct uh, studies on synthetic data set. To generate the synthetic data set, we first randomly sample the relevance parameters R5UQ for 500 queries and 5,000 query document pairs. For each query, we generate the ranking list for, from top to bottom and select a result for each ranking position uh, with the following probability. Here we use a parameter W to control the quality of the ranking list. A larger W is associated with a better ranking performance because we are more likely to put the results with a larger alpha at the top position. And if we set W to zero, then the ranking list will be fully random. Finally, for each ranking list, we use a constraint-based click model to generate the synthetic click logs. Then we train the BBM on these synthetic click logs. Here are the results showing how the variance of alpha changes uh, with the number of impressions under the conditions with different uh, ranking performance on our synthetic data set. Again, we can see that uh, the, when the number of sessions increases, the variance of relevance estimation decreases. And the ranking performance also influences the variance. We can see that uh, in the fully random condition, which is the orange line, the variance is the lowest. And when the ranking performance is the best, uh, which is the green line, uh, the, the variance of relevance estimation is also the highest. And we also investigate whether the click model can reliably detect the small, medium, and large differences in relevance between two documents A and B. These figures show how the probability P alpha is uh, alpha A is larger than alpha B changes with the number of sessions. Uh, if we set the criterion for a reliable pairwise relevance estimation as that uh, this P is larger than 0.9, and from this result we can see that in order to capture uh, the large differences, we need around 100 sessions. And for the median differences, we need around 300 sessions. However, it is very difficult to capture the small difference in relevance. We need over like 10,000 sessions to reach the same criteria. And we can also see that randomizing the ranking list can lead to a more reliable relevance estimation as the uh, orange line is always on the top. And to summarize, in this work, we investigate the reliability of click models with a variation approach. Experiments on real and synthetic data sets show that, first, there is a considerable level of uncertainty in the relevance estimation of click model, and this uncertainty can be captured by our variation approach. And second, uh, we can get more reliable relevance estimation uh, for the query document pair that are ranked at top position and presented more frequently. And third, for click models, it is really difficult to detect small differences in relevance. And finally, the ranking performance may influence the reliability of click models. And randomly shuffling the ranking list may help reduce the variance of relevance estimation. OK, that's all. Thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, please come to our poster. Thank you.